Hello and welcome to Late Night Gaming with with Long Night Entertainment. My name is Mycosa, and we are playing Minecraft. Whoa! Single player. To my world! Alright, where we left off, it was raining. So I think this is a good day to show a little bit of what you can do designing-wise. We are going to show off a couple things here in terms of what you can do even though it's square in terms of just getting a bit of designing going drop off some things mm -hmm. yeah, there isn't a dump all button a shame be nice if there was I have enough food for now for now boop 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 boo uh, boop boop boo 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 uh, put you on the bar, put you on the bar. Now, I like to do, well, creative works a bit. I've mentioned this is going to be a thing for my art projects. And I enjoy, well, making circles with the Minecraft squares. Something one wouldn't really expect, considering, you know, Minecraft is not a game of circles. And I have open on another map here a simple happy blueprint. And, well, I'm just going to show, uh, take a little time in a high speed here. This is going to be the first time it's not all just one episode here in one day. To show you guys a little bit of landscaping. I'll set some music. I've turned off the game music so I can easily set things to music in spite of the speed. I'm gonna do I'm gonna heighten this to four times speed. I think. Yeah, yeah, that should be fine. Uh maybe double. We'll see. If anything happens funny that I can think to say. But either way, I'm gonna show you guys a quick little montage of the of the hollowing of this. Not the whole thing, just the circle. And I'll show you guys it once we get somewhere. So, away.
not the full circle, though you can see it's going to continue a bit this way. But as you guys can see, boop, and boop, it gives a good full hemisphere. You can see how things are going to give a good blending. And it gives a very nice view as it pans out. Now this also gives you a huge amount of stone resources, building materials. I like to work with stone, cobblestone, bricks, things like that. And you can see how this is going to look very nice artistically. At least I like to think so. Gives you a lot of materials. Gives you a lot of uh, a view of places. Like over here we've got more uh, coal we can harvest later on. Exposed a lot of iron. This is another type of rock called andesite. Very smooth, gray works very well with uh, different types of stone. All in all, not bad. And I'm going to call things a break for this this nice little panning over it. I'm going to call things I'm going to call things a day for this. I'll uh, see if I can hollow this out on my own time. So the next time you guys see it, it'll be a nice clear thing there. No sense boring you all with that for, with that a second time. And let me just double check, hop up really quick. But unless I am mistaken, yep, it is daytime. A little past new, um, nearly noon in it. Oh, one last thing to be aware of. Another thing that hollowing things like this does: if there's any caves near you, you're at least likely to get a good feel of locating them. We know. Now, there's some badness nearby in this direction. Finding those should be entertaining. So with that, I'm going to call things a wrap for here. If you liked what you saw, give that like button a boop. And as always, thank you all for watching, and have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye. Okay, so it just occurred to me, I know this is almost right back where we left off, but without high speed, what I record before isn't very much. So, I'm going to go a little longer chatting with you guys. We shall do a little more exploring, take a look at the area. You can see that the reeds have grown while well, grown well, grown. Yes, the reeds are grown. Uh, I'm not good at this whole talking thing. Uh, for all that, I do so much of it. But, anyway. The, uh... The day hadn't really gone by, so I'll... Go till maybe a bit past sunset. Give us a little more to work with. There are a lot of resources in this area. I can show things off a little bit. Now, yeah, well, you see this here? That is clay. Useful for building different things. Huh? Is that above ground or? I hear badness, but I don't see badness. Oh well. This is useful for you can bake it and make different types of a uh, stained block, you know, dyed clay blocks with different dyes, of course. Okay. Soggy apple. Oh, there's something underground here. Oh, oh, I'm drowning, drowning. Ah, there we go. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, you can drown in this game. Just for the record. <laughs> you gotta keep track of that. There are things that let you stay underground and underwater and move underwater more, but uh, we don't have those yet. I must be near where I was hearing uh, things before. I'm guessing there's a... Uh, I guess I'll eat my other soggy apple. I must be near where those caves were. That must be why I'm hearing, um, the sounds of the dead. The dead. The dead. And up. can also use these to make little clay pots. They're kind of cool. I think it's kind of cool. I like it anyway. And that's one of the things that's nice about swamps, though, is that you get a lot of this resource. You get reeds in swamps. Vines, like I mentioned. Do I have iron? Ba, 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 ba. Down we go into the sunken abyss. <laughs> iron, iron, iron. 
Yes, yes, we do. Excellent. Now you need you need that for iron pickaxes and the like, but you can also make shears. Shears are useful in their own ways. You can shear sheep to make wool. That's useful for making a bed, which you can use to reset the day-night cycle, turn it back to daytime. You can also use it to harvest vines. These are awesome. Like I mentioned in an earlier episode, they're like self-growing, self-replicating replicating ladders. Well, be careful in how you harvest them. Hoo -hoo -hoo. And you can put these anywhere. They will grow on anything, unless I'm mistaken. You can make walls of them down underneath. And you notice I'm not like cutting them off the tree, because I want them to regrow. Uh, boop. Uh, boop. Oh good, I do still have... or do I? Whoa, uh -oh. something's coming. I heard that. Where are you? Hello, Zomble. Have at thee. Ha! Ha! Perish from my earth. This is my world. Booyah. Boop. There we go. Yeah, I'll go through the night, I guess. Be another like, ten minutes. Because what I recorded before occurred to me was not very much at all. Because I did it all... F I, I high-speeded it all up. Wait. Jump? Maybe that was just the piggy. Might have just been the piggy. With some more of these reeds, I guess. At some point, we're going to need to establish a more stable food supply. I've only got one pork chop left. And I'm likely to go through it. <laughs> As a, hey, look at my hunger bar. I'm already missing half of a hunger bar. If I could get a red mushroom. You can make mushroom stew with red mushrooms, if, with red and brown. I like stew, <laughs> and you can uh, you can set mushrooms. Uh, they'll grow if you put them underneath these swamp trees and whatnot, so they're protected. They'll grow. They will totally grow. Uh, here's humble, humble, humble. Uh, there's a witch there too. Gotta be careful of that. Now, let me show you. This is what the you hit with an axe. It does a bunch of damage. See how that died? Oh, yes! That'll do. That'll do. If I do this right. Oh, bother! Where are you? Uh. Oh! Why didn't I swing? Eat! Sword! You jerk! Man. Well, I guess it solved my problem where to put the reeds. But I was trying to do that. Combine the clay to make clay blocks, and that takes a little less space. Carrots. Yes, I can use that to breed the pigs, and I can also use that just for food on my own. I want some skeleton. There we go. It's going to be harder to fight. I should be able to take them. Alrighty. Creeper. And some vines for coverage here, because there's two of those skeletons. Oh, crap, he sees me. Whoa! Sees me as some, some freaking sharpshooter. Hello. Oh, he's a good aim. Very good aim! No! Holy crap, these things are dangerous now. Oh, my stuff dropped there. Well, I guess you guys will get to see what happens when you, uh... Dang, I did a lot of walking there. Let's see if I can make it. Uh... Yes, yes. Cluck, cluck, cluck to you too, buddy. That's the wrong way. I'm pretty sure I went in a direction where all of these were descending. I'm moving away from my base. Oh boy. 
Run away, run away. This way. This is the direction I want to go. 90% sure! Goodness gracious, there's a baby zombie! Why me? Oh, why me? Uh, they are small, they are deadly, and they hate you. Oh, there's a village here. How nice. Run! Run! Don't care. Run! Oh, hey, an egg. Not like I can grab it. Uh... Go away! Go away! Go away! I don't want to die to a baby zombie! I am in so much trouble! Run! Water. I am going to die at the hands of a horde of evil! <laughs> Holy hell! Oh no! Well, on the positive side, being away from them, if I despawn their area, I should, at the very least, uh, make it so that they're no longer pursued by all those zombies all the time. Hey, my goodness! What the heck? What have I just spawned into? I'm so glad this isn't a hardcore world. <laughs> Why is there a bat? Why is there a bat? Oh my god! Why? What kind of hellish nightmare have I spawned into? You know... It was such a nice word. Oh my lord, you have a sword. Bye. Oh no! Uh, strafe, strafe, shimmy, shimmy, uh, shimmy. Where's my happy swamp? Leave me alone, leave me alone. The night's almost over. Okay, birch, birch, okay. Okay, I'm near a birch forest. With chickens, I am nowhere near home. I don't know where home is. I'm afraid to press buttons to try and sort out where home is. Hi, sheep. Hi, spider. Oh. Okay. I'm not far from home. I know I'm not far from home. Oh, goodness gracious, great balls of zombie. I remember there was birch near... The, uh, there's a birch forest near the covered oak one. Maybe from up here I can see. I see covered oak that way. I see a creeper that way. I see a lava fall that way. Oh, that's nice. There's some spruce not terribly far as well. I'll just remember where things... Oh, goodness! Go away! I don't want to eat cookies! No! 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 Damn it! Uh, well, this has been my failure. All over the place. There's a village right over there. We shall have to explore that at a later point, but I'm going to have to call things a wrap for this particular episode. So, uh, again, as said before, Thank you all for watching. If you liked what you saw, give that like button a boop. And as always, thank you all for watching, and have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>